The blacklist's Amir Arison on James Spader's attention to detail. It's remarkable. The blacklist's Amir Arison has opened up about the level of precision that James Spader has when it comes to his role as an executive producer. As well as taking on the role of the ever-hanging complex criminal, Raymond, Red, Reddington, James Spader is credited as an executive producer for NBC's thrilling crime series, The Blacklist. His co-star Amir Arison, who portrayed Aram Mojtabai, opened up about his level of precision and attention to detail. James Spader first made his appearance as Red in the pilot episode of The Blacklist. Red was a longtime fugitive who decided to give himself up to the FBI after 20 years on the run and made them a deal they couldn't refuse. Despite being number one on the list of the FBI's top 10 fugitives, Red was able to manipulate high-ranking FBI assistant director Harold Cooper, played by Harry Lennox, to cut him an elusive immunity deal. In exchange, Red agreed to give up his blacklist, which revealed the names of major criminals who also happened to be his enemies. The complied list, which included the terrible crimes committed by hackers, spies and politicians, were often so foul that Red's offenses were considered minuscule. By doing so, he was able to stay 10 steps ahead of the FBI and by distracting them with the next criminal he was able to get away with theft and murder. Fans will recall in season 1 that he was able to push the stewmaker into his own lethal tub of chemical solution which he used to dissolve his victims. Red did this because the stewmaker had kidnapped FBI agent Liz Keane, Megan Boone, subjected her to torture and planned to kill her. This was just one of his homicides the FBI overlooked. Since the show first landed on NBC in 2013, it was successful in captivating its audience and built a loyal fanbase, which has continued to keep the show in high demand after nine seasons. Spader's character has often been labeled as the reason why the show has maintained a high rating throughout the years, including its average score of 91% from Rotten Tomatoes. The actor's co-star Amir Arison, who played the FBI's quirky technician, also praised Spader for his work as an executive producer. Arison was joined by actresses Diani Rodriguez and Karina Arayava, who made their debut appearances and worked closely with Spader in Season 9, for an Instagram Live Q&A. During the chat, Arayava reflected on working with Spader and shared, I think he deserves writing and directing credit on every episode. To which Arison agreed, James is an executive producer he really does have it, executive producers really run the show. On television, it's actually the head writers that are sort of in charge of the show and writer almost before of the directors and directors are in charge of each episode. The director runs the episodes while the writers work in LA but James is our executive producer on set. Arison explained. He knows the scripts and he knows the seasons that we don't, we're getting them episode to episode. So he can sort of give an adjustment or an idea about why this might be this and he can know if a character says could or would in their speech. He'd be like, I think that's wood and not cut and this is why, it's a remarkable level of detail and not unlike Reddington. Thankfully, fans will soon get to see more of Red and the task force as the blacklist was recently renewed by NBC for season 10. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press bell icon button for more videos.